horror movies some are fun to watch while others really get to you today i'm diving into some horror movies that are more than just spooky they'll actually mess with your mind and stick with you long after you finish watching whether you're into psychological horror or creature features these films have something in common they're genuinely terrifying so if you're looking for something good to watch with the bay this is the video for you so let's get into it Let's kick things off with The Witch. This movie is often described as a slow burn, and it's true, but what exactly makes it so effective? It's set in the 1600s and we're following a deeply religious family that's been exiled from the community. They move to an isolated farm on the edge of a dense, dark forest, and right away you get a sense that something's not right. What makes this film so scary is how it taps into the paranoia and fear of the unknown. The entire movie feels like you're watching a nightmare unfold in slow motion. The isolation, the way the family starts turning on each other, the eerie presence of something lurking in the woods. There's this constant feeling of dread that never lets up. And the dialogue is worth mentioning. It's an old English which makes everything feel more authentic and unsettling. Twas I what stole him. I be the witch of the wood. Like Philip, I conjure thee to speak to me. It's almost like you're watching an actual historical account of witchcraft and madness. By the time you get to the end, it's not just about witchcraft anymore. It's about how fear, faith, and isolation can drive people to the edge. The witch sticks with you because it feels raw and grounded in reality, even though it's dealing with the supernatural. It's less about what you see and more about what you feel. This is the kind of movie that leaves you unsettled long after it's over. Next up, Hereditary. This one hits you on two levels. First, it's the family drama about grief and trauma. That sounds like a fucking rap. And then it transforms into a full-blown supernatural horror. This movie starts with the death of a family member and how it shakes the family to its core, slowly revealing the darker secrets and supernatural occurrences. What makes Hereditary stand out is how it uses grief as its core horror. You're not just watching a family fall apart. You're watching their darkest secrets come to light, and it's terrifying. The supernatural elements take over towards the end but the film never loses that sense of emotional weight the film's horror builds up slowly and by the time it reaches its climax you're left tweaking from the emotional and supernatural impact it's one of those movies where the horror seeps into every aspect of the story making it both psychological and a supernatural experience if you have any fear of tight spaces the descent is going to make you incredibly uncomfortable. The movie starts as a simple adventure. Six friends go cave diving in an unexplored cave system, but right away, the movie starts messing with you. The narrow tunnels, the darkness, the complete isolation, it's terrifying, even before the creatures show up. That's the genius of the scent. The first half is all about building tension. You feel claustrophobic, you feel trapped like you're in there with them. You hear the echo of every movement, every breath, and it feels like the walls are closing in. Then when the creatures show up, it's chaos. The movie turns into a full-on survival horror but it never loses that sense of claustrophobia. The creatures are terrifying, pale, blind, and incredibly fast. But what's even scarier is the way the group starts to fall apart as they're being hunted. What makes the descent stand out from other creature features is how grounded it fears. The fear comes from the environment as much as the monsters. Y'all remember the Nutty Putty incident? That, I feel like this gives me a lot of that same anxiety. I would never even go down a damn crawl space after seeing that. Now let's talk about It Follows. This movie has such a simple premise, but it's incredibly effective. There's a curse, and once you're cursed, a shape-shifting entity starts following you. It doesn't run, it doesn't chase, it just walks slowly but it never stops and if it catches you well that's it the brilliance of it follows is that it plays on paranoia the curse can look like anyone an old woman a friend or even a stranger in the distance so you're constantly on edge scanning every frame for signs that something is coming the movie doesn't rely on big jump scares instead it builds tension gradually with this feeling of dread that never really goes away another thing i love about this movie is the way it's shot the camera work is just fantastic. There's these wide lingering shots where you see the entity in the distance slowly walking toward the main character and you just
just know what's coming. It makes you feel helpless. It's like there's nothing you can do but watch it happen. The whole time, it feels like you're watching a bad dream that you can't wake up from. What makes this movie so scary is how it never gives you closure. Even after the credits roll, you're left wondering, what is still out there? Is it coming? The lingering sense of unease is what makes It Follows so memorable. Finally, let's talk about The Babadook. On the surface, it's about a creepy monster from a children's book, but it's a really deep dive into grief and mental illness. Amelia, the mother, is struggling with her son Samuel and the trauma of her husband's death. The real horror here isn't just The Babadook. It's watching Amelia's mental state deteriorate as she deals with her grief and her son's behavior. The monster becomes a metaphor for her repressed emotions, and it's incredibly unsettling. The film tension builds really slowly, focusing on emotional rate rather than jump scares. By the time things really kick off, you're emotionally drained, just like the characters. The ending is both unsettling and thought-provoking, making The Babadook a unique and haunting experience. So those are my picks for horror movies that will actually scare you, or at the very least, keep you up at night thinking. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what horror movie actually scared you. i love to hear your thoughts. This is also my first time trying out writing out a script for the first time, so if I sound a little more official than usual and like I actually am speaking coherent sentences that's why um let me know how you also feel about that too that's all i love you free kanye Mwah.